that point in my life. I said, one day I'm just going to get off the train with my Nikon and walk up to the first person that I meet and ask them if I can take their picture. This was as a way to uh, help me overcome my shyness. The first person that I walked up to, I, I wasn't quite sure how to approach him. I just started talking to him and said, would you mind if I take your picture? And uh, he immediately dropped to his knees, put out his hands as if he were praying, and he said, my name is Jehovah. And uh, that was kind of my introduction to Uptown. Uptown was a collision of cultures. You had old people, you had young people, you had rich people, you had poor people, you had whites, blacks, Hispanics, Indians, you know, all races, all cultures, all creeds. It was just a great urban melting pot. I had never seen anything like it. To tell you the truth, it was kind of refreshing. They weren't always living together harmoniously, but somehow they managed to survive. One of the first things that you noticed about Uptown was that there was litter everywhere. The architecture was crumbling, there was graffiti everywhere. It really looked like a neighborhood in disarray. You know, sometimes you'd see very rich people walking from apartments near Lakeshore Drive to the L stop on Wilson Avenue. You would see bums hanging out in front of the Sheridan Hotel which at one point was uh, quite a ritzy hotel. I'm, I'm told that the visiting teams that came to play at Wrigley Field used to stay there. It was just bizarre. So I, I was there photographing this mural. I thought, just the mural by itself, we have no pity in Latin King City, when all of a sudden this kid walked through the frame with his kind of mangy dog. And that came to symbolize some of these ironies. It, it almost sort of foretold this kid's future. One thing is for certain, the odds were really stacked against the younger people growing up in that neighborhood. But it, it also instilled a certain kind of character in them. I had previously photographed a lot of the Latin kings in the area, and uh, at one point this guy, he asked me to take a picture of him uh, in front of a Latin king's mural. So we walked over there and I said, okay, well, what would you like to do? He said, well, let's show you how we treat the Latin eagles. And he pulled out this gun and he stuck it up to his, uh, his friend's head pretended that he was pulling the trigger. It was kind of a chilling experience. The uptown that I knew, I'm, I'm not sure exists anymore, but it is certainly fascinating to look back on it. The neighborhood, the, the richness of the experience was just uh, amazing. I, I look back on it fondly and hope that other people can too.